Kylo Ren unmasked. And he was the only one they had at Sainsbury's. They had the, loads of uh, the other new figures, but he was the only one. And the top of the box is slightly cracked, but nothing major, as you can see there. And I oomed and erred and thought, should I get him? And I just had a feeling that this is going to be a tough figure to find. And uh, so I decided to buy him for a tenner at Sainsbury's in the UK. And he's quite a nice looking figure. He's got a good likeness to the actor. And he comes with a lightsaber and that combiner piece there. And the sculpting on the figure is really good, even though it's only five points of articulation. Great artwork on the card. And it's a shame that they couldn't make a little faceplate that goes over it. That you could just pull out that has the Kylo Ren mask there. And then you just pull it out and then you have it like that. The hood is removable though. All that, that this hood had the mask built into it as well. It had just been a bit cooler. Cool looking figure though. Everyone loves the villains. And here's the back of the card. So he comes with Kylo Ren. They had that storm troop. They had one of those. They've got the Neon Numb already. A Dark Warrior Strong of the Force Kylo Ren commands First Order missions with a temper as fire resistant and conventional lightsaber. European packaging. Some scratching on the back of the card. Nice looking figure though, Kylo Ren. And I looked on eBay and he's going for about 15 to 20 pounds at the moment. So in the UK. So I think he's going to be a tough find. Maybe they'll put more of him out. Nice looking figure. Okay, so that's Kylo Ren. Here's my new Kylo Ren with the first release of Kylo Ren. This isn't the Empire Magazine version. I had to pay about £24 for that. But, you know, it's such a limited release. So you've got Kylo Ren there with the mask and Kylo Men Ren without the mask. You can see there's sculpting differences. The hand there is more like that, whereas that is more in a grip. Both come with a lightsaber and have similar texturing on the costume. We've got different cuts in the costume there, whereas his is more just laying flat. And that's Kylo Ren, the first release on, on the Empire magazine issue and then this new Kylo Ren here which is a really nice figure so you can see the differences and similarities overall they look pretty similar there's just slightly different sculpting differences and yep very nice so this is a very popular figure and you've got Forest and I don't know what's blue snow. It's a shame they couldn't make a little mask to go over that. So, you know, just plug it in and plug it, pull it out when you need to. Okay, so that's your Kylo Ren, the new version, which is unmasked, and the original version. Great figure. Highly recommend this one if you can find it. Alright, cheers, bye. Just a better look at the two figures, just to give you a good comparison. Really nice. Both versions of Kylo Ren. Really good. Nice. Better look at Kylo Ren unmasked, trying to get a better look at the face. Really good sculpting on this figure. Love all the texturing on the costume, just looks amazing. Nice detail on the lightsaber hilt. Cool looking figure. This is Kylo Ren. Looks amazing. Okay, so that's your Force Awakens. Newest rave of figures in the UK. European packaging. Kylo Ren. Unmasked. And there's the back of the card. Neon Numb I've got, he's pretty cool as well. So that's your new Kylo Ren.
cool looking figure. I'm sure everyone's going to be after this one. So if you see him, snap him up. Okay. Nice detailing on the belt, on the arms, on the whole costume. Nice figure. Great artwork on the card as well. So that's your Kylo Ren figure. Nice.